before we listen to God's word, let me read the scripture lesson from Psalm 103, verses from 1 to 5. Psalm 103, verses from 1 to 5. <clears throat> Praise the Lord, O my soul. All my inmost being praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion? Who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles? May the good Lord add his blessing to the reading of his promises. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you. We want to praise the Lord for this wonderful evening. Thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to come before your presence to meditate upon your promises and to spend very little time to worship our God. Lord, we want to be grateful to you, Lord. Holy Spirit of God, we want to thank you the way you teach us how to live on this earth, the way you convict us, the way you guide us as our teacher. Lord, as we meditate, open our hearts and minds to listen to your voice. And also, Lord, enable us that we may apply whatever we meditate from your scripture, that we may apply it and we, we may obey it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please turn with me to Psalm 103, which is a very, very familiar uh, psalm for all of us. <clears throat> Particularly, Tamil Christians, it is very, very special. Because Tamil Christians are very unique they have their own traditions than any other Christians here in India. End of every prayer meeting, they recite these two verses, Psalm 103, verse 1 and 2. They say it in Tamil, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. This Psalm 103 is David's individual Psalm of Thanksgiving, <clears throat> since we will be celebrating Thanksgiving festival or Thanksgiving celebration in the month of September, it is better to meditate upon this psalm. I read somewhere <clears throat> in a small, a small thought written by Charles Swindoll, Swindoll, a preacher, while he was preaching, he took a piece, piece of paper, made a small black dot in the center of a4 size white paper sheet and he asked his audience what do you see they said a yeah, black dot they replied and he asked do you see anything else most of them unanimously said no they overlooked the most important thing of all that is the paper itself or sheet itself that's how we followers of Christ, we are distracted by small petty <coughs> issues like painful experience, disappointments, personal hurts and misunderstanding. We are prone to forget innumerable blessings we received from God. Just like he asked about the paper, just they were just focusing on only on black dot, not the paper. David did not or David did not want to forget God's blessing. Someone said like this, it is not my sentence. God remembers what man forgets. <clears throat> God remembers what man forgets and God forgets what man remembers. Quite interesting to uh, meditate on these two or on this slogan or on this caption. God remembers we are dust. That's what he meant. He remembers us that we are clay. We go through Psalm 90, we can understand about this. 
we are mortal he knows us we are mortal whereas we do not understand we think as if we are going to live for long for we are going to live for everlasting here on this earth we are struggling with infirmities he knows us but we forget we are like grass we are like flowers or bubbles we are like shade we often forget about these things but god remembers we are dust god remembers what we often forget god remembers who we are he knows us very well because he is the one who created us and also the other part of this caption is god forgets what man remembers It's also quite interesting biblical based <clears throat> i will not remember your sins whereas we never forget others mistakes the bible tells god tells us i will not remember your sins i will forgive their iniquity and their sin i will remember no more i will remember the sin no more that's what even isaiah 23 25 38 17 jeremiah 31 34 tells us we christians try to forgive others sins but we find it very difficult to forget it that's what uh, thirukural it says like this in tamil thiyinal suttapun ullaru maarade naavinal suttavadu the wound caused by fire will heal within but not the scar left by the tank how true it is in many ways we are like a big animal elephant i read somewhere even if you google it you will understand better elephant has long memory we never forget our long memories when it comes to our hurts our sorrows our burdens our pain our suffering in this world we don't forget or we never forget but we have a short memory when it comes to remembering how good god is we often we forget it for our short meditation we need to meditate from the psalm 103 up to verse 18 i need to go a little fast because um i don't want to go a little because it is very familiar psalm little deeper because you know better than me verses 1 to 5 david's individual psalm or individual he just himself he wanted to be grateful to god for what the lord has done in his life king david had many issues in his life he wants to remember god's goodness in his life that's what this psalm reflects psalm 103 tells us there's another translation i read a very old bible written by 100 years ago almost translated by james moffat it is called james moffat translation he translates in a positive way was one and two bless the eternal o my soul remember all his benefits that's what it says james moffa translation forget not all his benefits other version say whereas james moffa says like this o my soul lord bless the eternal bless the eternal o my soul remember all his benefits god we are blessed by god in every way in a negative in a negative sense don't forget all its benefits what are the benefits we need to just ask this question god forgives all our sins through jesus christ our lord because we often knowingly willfully and deliberately god convict us not to commit this mistake we often do it we commit sin against god again and again but god forgives us that's what he meant forget not all his benefits oh my soul remember all his benefits god forgives all our sins through jesus christ because christ died for us on the cross of calvary for all our sins we are forgiven by god's grace alone just few weeks ago i spoke i think last week sola gracia sola scriptura god's grace alone god's word alone god's word alone can can save us can deliver us that's what the bible tells us some scholars 
they interpret like this god forgives all our sins he forgives our past sins god forgives our present sins and also god forgives our future sins it is i think calvinistic idea about future sins whereas armenian and wesleyan theology will not or armenian and wesleyan doctrine will not agree for the third point god will not forgive our future sin that's what even wesleyan concept since god is forgiving all our sins david says bless the lord praise the lord hallelujah in other word according to even aramaic and hebrew hallelujah praise the lord because he forgives all our sins that's why he said i'll bless the lord oh my soul and forget not all his benefits after forgiving my sins or after forgiving our sins god heals all our sickness that's what even the same translation uh, james mofari says he he heals from all our sicknesses sickness some are not healed no i read in a book um where is god when it hurts written by philip yancey while i was going through that book two persons they went to a convention to attend and uh, they were uh, at the end of that convention one person was healed the other person was not healed the person who was not healed he felt very bad and also he discouraged he said is there something wrong in my christian life since i do not have faith or am i lacking in my faith that's why i'm not healed by god don't know so some scholars they say until christ return we will struggle with illness and sickness we need not to be because it is god's will for us sometime god may not heal us some are uh, you know most of us maybe we are healed because god answers our prayer cures cure comes from god alone god or even we are healed by god only because he is our creator some say we are healed by god ultimately god heals us even through miracle or medicine god heals us that's what they say when i remember how god heals we can say praise the lord that's why he might have healed by god's grace or god's he could have experienced god's healing touch upon that's why he said praise the lord oh my soul bless the lord oh my soul and forget not all his benefits because he forgives my sins and also he heals all my sickness he saves us from death or from pit or from destruction or from eternal death god saves us from condemnation and from dangers and from hell that's what it says verse 5 tells us the lord does not give us what we want but he he gives us what we need or what is good god does not give us what we want but he gives us what is good god is good all the time we can learn from verse 5 he is good he gives uh, he gives our hearts desire that's what the parable that is a little parable is quoted over there in verse 5 like eagle eagles receive new feathers and it receives new strength to uh, live for many years that's what psalm is david is comparing or he is using this parable so god is the one who heals us he protects us and also he fulfills our hearts desire he meets all our needs or he gives what is good to us that's what david meant bless the lord oh my soul and forget not all his benefits because god forgives our sins and also he heals us that is his individual thanksgiving verses from 1 to 5 then verses from <clears throat> 6 to 18 speaks about corporate thanksgiving he is talking about on behalf of israelites he is giving thanks to god on behalf of the people of god or israelites the lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed because the people of god were often oppressed by superseding nations like sometime maybe assyrians this side and this side the superseding nation egyptian israel nation called corridor nation whenever these people they go and fight against the superseding nation they destroy everything because it is a small nation whenever these people they go against egypt they destroy everything and 
they go and fight with them in every way they were oppressed that's what it meant so here it says the lord executes righteousness and justice not only for david but for all who oppress the people of god that's what he meant in verse 6 uh, that's why he said praise the lord or bless the lord o my soul and forget not all his benefits in verse 7 god made known his ways or his plans or his uh, his purpose to his servant moses because he was leading 6 lakhs people from egypt to canaan at one point he was discouraged and disappointed because they were about to stone him he said lord you take my life these people are giving much trouble and also he asked he prayed to god lord you lead me i don't know how to go forth then he promised my presence will go with you and also it's very clear god revealed his plans and also his ways to his servant to his leader or appointed by him to his servant moses and also other part of verse 7 it says the people of god he revealed is miraculous signs and wonders israelites israelites they enjoyed god's miraculous signs and wonders that's what it says that's why he said bless the lord o my soul and forget not all his benefits that's what it meant in verse 7 verse 8 thankful to god because the lord is compassionate and gracious slow to anger abounding in love yes god's love is great you know we are undeserved undeserving people even we are not worthy people to forgive others but god forgives us we are not willing to accept others but god accepts us and also he loves us so much that's why man of god david he says bless the lord o my soul and forget not all his benefits he wanted to be thankful to god because his god is compassionate is gracious slow to anger abounding in love in verse 9 he does not always criticize he doesn't accuse his people that's what it says verse 9 he does not stay angry with his people forever because he is god of love he forgives us and also he accept them as they are that's why man of god david said bless the lord o my soul and forget not all his benefits in verse 10 he has not treated us as we deserve for our sins we commit sin against god as i earlier mentioned knowingly willfully deliberately again and again we make lot of mistakes if god punishes we would have destroyed quite long time back but verse 10 tells us he has not treated us as we deserve for our sins or paid us back for our wrongs he could not or he didn't take disciplinary action against us he loves us so much that's what it means it's a beautiful promise for all of us to claim that's why man of god david said bless the lord o my soul and forget not all his benefits he is magnanimous our god is magnanimous towards sinners verse 11 beautiful promise that small parable is there for his kindness and for his loving kindness to those who fear him god loves us and also he shows his kindness his kindness is great the reason is that's why he said or he sang this song bless the lord oh my soul and forget not all his benefits verse 12 god forgives and also forgets whereas god forgives and forgets god forgets what man remembers we never forget others mistake we keep it somewhere even it will be there in our subconscious whereas god forgets all our sins that's why he that's why he said bless the lord or praise the lord bless the lord oh my soul and forget not all his benefits god remembers what we often forget and also we forget our position is is permanent we forget that it is uh, uh, it is it is permanent we think it is permanent but we forget it is uh, it is in god's perspective it is not permanent and also we think wealth is permanent but from god's perspective it is not permanent position wealth and also 
these all not permanent god remembers what we often forget we forget if we get good position or if we are something else if god lifts us up and we forget who we are but god remembers remembers us that we are dust we are grass and also we are bubbles in conclusion why thankful to god we are sinners in other word i learn this lesson from a man of god even we often sing from tamil uh, traditional classic uh, lyrics nee unakku sondam allave meekkapatta paavi christians have different name another name we are not saints we are saved sinners that's what it means we are sinners we need to be grateful to god god forgives us every day every moment he forgives all our sins he forgets our sins he puts all our sins behind his back he could not see it whereas we often remember our brothers and sisters those who commit mistake against us on account of our sin we have many issues illness sickness we are stressed out we go through a lot of difficulties and also we have a fear about our future we need to remember god heals us from all our illness and sickness god heals us from all sickness and also he is he heals us from even dangerous diseases or illness and sickness like cancers tuberculosis people are worried about covid 19 we can say we are covid survivors praise be to god for the gift of life in this context many people are having so many health issues like kidney problem and so many health issues god heals us sign of his forgiveness is this god is healing us from all our illness and sickness even from all diseases thank god for the gift of life once i preached on what is life i could remember a event which took place in the year 2017 one of our family friends called us from chengalpet medical college and hospital and uh, the person said my mother is met with an accident in chengalpet bypass road so we rushed to a place called paranur where is a toll booth is there before chengalpet that is uh, of family friends village near to village they said body is there still in the hospital so we were, we rushed up to uh, chengalpet medical college and my wife she could not see the dead bodies and i went there i just wanted to see how the mortuary is and that particular time a man from uh, kalpakam nuclear power plant he was a scientist he met with an accident a famous scientist it seems and also very brilliant fellow his body was there along with this of our friend's mother's body there were many more bodies i could see there i could realize what is meaning of life nothing is permanent on this earth that's what i learn we need to understand life is short i learned three lessons from this three point from that time god never shows partiality we all of us are equal before god time doesn't show partiality to anyone it will go away keep on it it will go the third is death we cannot say please give me one more day i want to live no no partiality from this three god time and death life is short we are not going to live long on this earth this is not our permanent place our position is not permanent this life is not permanent we are going to live with him forever god is blessing us in every way we are blessed by god in every aspect we need to be grateful to god for all his blessings that's what man of god david sang this bless the lord or bless the lord 
O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Let us look to God in prayer. <clears throat> Father, we want to thank you. We want to praise the Lord for this wonderful evening. Thank you, Lord, once again for this evening service to be reminded by your promises. Nothing is permanent on this earth. Lord, our position is not permanent. Lord, our wealth is not permanent. This world is not permanent. We are not going to live on this earth permanently. Lord, we are unworthy people to be blessed by you, but you love us so much. Lord, you are compassionate, God. Lord, your love is, we can't understand its breadth, its limit, Lord. Lord, we want to commit ourselves unto you, Lord Jesus. Cleanse us, forgive us, heal us, help us to realize that you are our God. Lord, we want to rely on you. We want to live under your presence, under your care, under your guidance. Continue to help us, Lord, that we may trust in you for everything. Thank you, Lord, for the new lessons we could learn from Psalm 103. We want to thank you. We want to praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat>